Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Six Figure Developer Channel. My name is John Calloway. That's Clayton Hunt, and Ash will be joining us in theory shortly. Uh, tonight, we are working on live coding, live stream Wednesday, personal projects, heckling each other, talking with people in chat. Uh, we are going to continue on Clayton's Blazer Game Engine project, which started as a port of Mono Game in Blazer. Uh, Clayton, you want to catch us up where we left off, what we're going to try to do tonight, see if we can't uh, get uh, some interesting things for Wes to see? Yeah, so uh, when we last left off, we had just finished this section of the MDN tutorial. So uh, we've got a square that's rotating. We did play around with the code a little bit, so instead of a multicolored square, we have a red square right here and I stopped the rotation but um, it can rotate I just commented this bit out because the thing that uh, we want to focus on tonight is the next portion which is the textures uh, I'm gonna skip over this uh, 3d object piece we're gonna try to apply a texture uh, try we will we, she'll see uh, it's nice that it just goes from the URL low in their function that's nice What's our goal for tonight? Do we, are we setting goals or are we just hanging out our, and having fun? Uh, our goal for tonight, not to have a cube, but to have a single square with, let's say, this Firefox um, hmm. icon on it. But you're in, you're in Edge. Yes. I'm so confused. It doesn't, it's just a, it's the URL that they have in their demo. So it's just the one that I'm going to use because whatever. Okay, so I'm going to slide this window over, but I'll be following along uh, with this. So if anybody was interested, drop it in chat. Yeah. That is the URL that I will be looking at and referencing. All right, so it says... Um, Are we still on a branch specific, the WebGL reboot? Yeah, the WebGL reboot. Um, so they have a rotating 3D cube, and that's their starting point. So they're just saying, let's map a texture onto it. Uh, again, this uses the GL matrix library, which I want to replace. I want to create my own matrix library in Blazor. Um, but for right now, we're going to continue using the GL matrix library. Um, first thing is to load the texture. Uh, yep, so they're going to use a single texture map to all six sides. They have this load texture function. Now, previously, and I would like to have this continue this way, um, I had in, uh, where is it, pages, index, I have this, right? And so I've got a uh, to-do comment here. And what I want to do is I want to be able to say, um, like, texture, and then the... Um, source equals whatever the URL is and uh, maybe give it a name so I can reference it so this would be like um, Firefox icon or something like that uh, and then I want this to be mapped to a uh, whatever I need it to be mapped to for all this to work so that's our mock we do have already because I didn't delete them 
um, where are they? Uh, Sprite.razor, which is basically the same thing, label and source, and then it does some stuff. It was calling this, but I think we could replace that with um, something else, and then uh, we'll see what we have to do to, to get this part working. Uh, and I may not need to register the texture at all, so uh, we won't actually start with that. But if we do have a need to register the texture for um, performance reasons, then that's the route that I want to go. But let's go to our Blazor Game JS first, and we'll just throw in a helper function. So there's draw rectangle. Jeez, it's big. Okay, so load shader, so let's do a... Visual Studio has a null reference exception there. How are you talking about? The big bar on top of your screen. Oh, that's Visual Studio's problem. <laughs> uh, URL. Okay, so here's where the fun part comes in. So const texture equals this.gl dot create texture okay and we're gonna bind the texture so this is exactly the same as um, all the other stuff that we've created and bound texture 2d okay so we're gonna we've created this is a family a friendly show there Wes what? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> uh, so we've created the texture. We've bound the texture as a texture 2D to our current texture working space, I guess, is, is the way that it works. Okay, they've got a big old block comment here. Jeez. I mean, we, we like to pretend... We know freak, freaking wards up in Indiana where I hear it was snowing today. My mother, who is in Kentucky, sent me a, a photo from her back porch or something. So close. I was so close. Typing all that without an issue. Snow, snow is dumb, Wes, I believe. I believe you. Hey, look. Ash is here. Wait. Okay, level equals zero. But, but Ash isn't here. <laughs> he joined, he joined I'm so the confused. Chat, but didn't bother joining the meeting. That's great. And Tech Workbench, welcome. If you're just joining us, we are working on uh, personal projects on live coding live stream Wednesday. Uh, Clayton is driving in the Blazor Game Engine project, a port of Mono Game and Blazor. And I will drop the link to the project in GitHub and the appropriate branch that he's on in chat for anybody that's interested and wants to follow along. If we get if we get the image uh, loading, if we get the texture uh, put onto the square, then I think I'm going to jump over to the other set of tutorials and... Um, change our coordinate system in the shader so that we are on a pixel coordinate instead of a uh, Cartesian coordinate. Oh, images are going to get screwed up. What are you talking about? We've got an ash now. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Oh. Just watch. Boom. Nice. Just like that. I can just throw him in. It's good like that. Uh, equals new... Floating beard. Oh, no floating beard. All right, and here's the a link to the tutorial that Clayton was referencing. Okay. 
We yeah, are there's... in the office. Well, I mean, I'm in my office. Clayton's in his daughter's bedroom. Ash is in the basement. Yep. No, no, no. My daughter's bedroom is in my office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and they... there's a there's a toilet right above Ash's head. You yeah, might have a flush for you. <laughs> you might have heard that. Ash's bathroom is in his office. <laughs> <laughs> How I water cool my PC. <laughs> just do it several times a day. Is that <laughs> <laughs> just have someone flush it? Internal format and width. Oh, hey. Order. Well, Wes, if if you're determined, I'm sure you can figure out a way to <laughs> make a create a bathroom in your in your office. Pixel. Okay. Thanks, Visual Studio. Um, okay, so what we've just done is we created a bunch of data points that I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, and we're just creating a single pixel, like it said in the, in the comments. We're just creating a single pixel texture that we're going to load into the texture pointer, which is this uh, texture that got created that we've bound to. So all the texture operations will will go into this texture, um, and we're gonna load that in so that we can do the asynchronous operation of actually fetching the uh, the actual texture. Uh, that way, it can just be used while we're waiting on other stuff to happen. I don't know if you noticed, but Visual Studio found a no reference exception. I already pointed that out. He said it was Visual Studio's problem. <laughs> yeah, it is totally Visual Studio's problem. And chat, let us know where you're joining us from. I know that uh, we've got freaking wards in Indiana. Wesley, I think you're in St. Pete, Florida. You know, Ash if, is in Columbus, Ohio. If Visual Studio had done unit testing, then they could have already tested for this. Vancouver. Vancouver. Cool. Welcome. We got Canadians? Sweet. See, and I was just talking about the, the snow in Indiana where freaking Ward is, but I would imagine Vancouver is we, probably we seen its fair share of snow. And, and you, a lack you, of power, apparently. Yeah, you, you lost yeah. power, right? Yep. Um, I don't know why, but I woke up to no power. It's probably the snow. I was like, kids, get back on the bike. We got to keep going. They're like it was cold, so we stopped. And the the elders caught you and, and disconnected. It. That's that's true. That's exactly. Vancouver what is currently 18C. So yeah, I, I'm American. I was I never learned Celsius, Fahrenheit conversion. I don't. 18C is not terrible. Like 30 30 is like 100 degrees. Yeah, it's like 65. Yeah, well, like 60 hmm. 60 something. That's pleasant. Yeah, it, it uh, snowed today, and it was uh, about, it's about 32 degrees C, or Fahrenheit right now, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is that? Zero. That would 32 be zero. C would be... 30, 32 F is zero C. Right. That's how there that works. Go. Exactly. See, yeah, Again, perfect. Americans. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. <sighs> 10 degrees C is when it starts I don't to know, get 10, cold. 10's just never worked for me. I kind of like the 12 and, you know, the 32 to 212. He was like, How, wait, when does water boil? <laughs> you know, at 100 degrees. <clears throat> oh, I only do, I only yeah, do things in rankings. that 0 to 100 rankings, scale is just confusing. Uh, I only do things in rankings because, you know. All right. Whatever. Okay, so... Okay, we've hit a potential snag in the code here. It says WebGL 1 has different requirements for power of two images versus non-power of two of images. So check if the image is a power of two in both dimensions. So just divide it by two? I... Well, so that's a, it's a WebGL 1 hitch. I wonder if WebGL 2 has that issue or doesn't have that issue. I mean, I'm going to put the code in because our, our shader is a WebGL 1 shader, which kicks... Even though we've asked for WebGL2, it kicks it down to WebGL1. But. Mm 
<clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Tabs versus spaces. Just goes on. Really, anything we can complain about, I think. We can complain about anything. That's that's where the skill comes in. That's how you know you're a senior. <laughs> the the date times though, those like where it's different based on nationality in the same location, those are the ones that drive me insane. Does anybody have a, a link to the YouTube rant on that? That was fabulous. Oh, Let's yeah, see if I can find it. Tom Scott's I wonder what Skeet does about that. With Would Nota you... time? <laughs> like that's gotta be fun. That that was the best thing is the the most trouble we've had in setting up the timing on any interview was the one we did with John Skeet and we got the time wrong because we were doing conversions the week of the year that we were on different Yeah, like what are the odds <laughs> that it would be that there's John two weeks Skeet. two weeks out of the year we are on a different you know number of conversion so. and he specifically said <laughs> not this time <laughs> yes. and we're like oh, okay let's be accommodating and change the time and then he was like what are you doing <laughs> uh, yeah there's the i think that's the right link to the right video that i'm thinking of with the the JavaScript date time <clears throat> rant. Yep. Yeah, that's the one I was thinking of as well. Uh, text parametry. Close. Texture, something about a map. So, do we know what we're trying to accomplish here? Just curious. A wrap, not so. It's something about a wrap, not something about a map. He, he's he's using um, Microsoft Edge. Right, we're we're gonna and clamp. We're gonna clamp to Edge. Okay. Okay. Um, but he's go, using Edge, to Chrome. following a tutorial from <laughs> Mozilla that's oh. going to put a Firefox inside of the, the spinning cube. Safari, that's going to take you on a Safari. Right. <laughs> yeah, when you get to a, a stopping place where it'll actually compile, you should run it again just to, to catch Ash up since he wasn't here at the start of the show. Okay. And, for... and he's not wearing green, and I'm so very That's disappointed. Right. I'm so sorry. I re wore red last yesterday or uh, last, uh, Monday. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the same shirt you were wearing. Monday. No, it isn't. It was a colored shirt. Laundry has definitely been done. I swear. It was done. It, that's exactly right. And that's actually why we're starting to recycle. What What's crazy is that it looks red to you guys, but it's actually. Mm -hmm deep purple um i i, I disagree <laughs> <laughs> the can the colors on this deep. this webcam are just horrible uh, uh yeah we that? tech workbench we did not write the movie inception but i think the person that wrote inception wrote inception is that oh, i don't that's oh. the best i can get. no something's something's happened actually i i got so bored with the movie inception i don't remember where I was watching it, but I just stopped paying attention and got completely lost. We we just rewatched it actually, my wife and I did two weeks ago. Is it worth watching it and paying attention? Um, no. It's not my favorite movie. I'll be honest. Um, I think it's clever and whatnot. Oh, we so we then actually just watched uh, um, what is it the the Prestige. Ooh, um, which is done by the same um, Nolan. I don't know what that same is. Same director, I believe. Um, I think the procedures is also <coughs> sort of 
Golly. It's a different it's a different movie altogether, but it has some of the same like twists and like mind bending sort of things. I think it's a lot easier to follow and a lot more fun to watch. It's it is a little dark, but um, we watched uh, Thunder Force. Nice. <laughs> it was no tech workbench. That that was a fine joke. Um, it, it it was just we we've got the satellite delay or the TV timeouts. Uh, but uh, yeah, no the, the the browser inception because we're putting Firefox inside a Chrome widget using Bing. I, yeah, yeah, all it's all of fire, the... fire, Firefox inside of a Chromium implementation, masking right as masquerading as a Microsoft product. What am I typing? Value. I'm just trying to get to a stopping point where I can understand what it was that I've just typed. Well, you and... typed function. What the huh? Huh? Doesn't does it like is, is there something wrong with function? No, it does not. Never mind. Oh, my I, eyes I, are okay. And Wesley, I, I feel like perhaps we can smell your laundry through the camera. I don't. Can, can you smell what the Wesley is cooking? Is that... I hope. Uh, are you are you eating uh, Japanese cookies again? Is that Ooh. cookies sounds pretty good. My wife keeps making chocolate chocolate chip cookies and I really need her to stop doing that just tell her you've gone vegan no she'll, <laughs> she'll never buy that okay um all right so let's let's take oh, a look what, at what could you possibly this. eat just bricks of cheese maybe well do, vegans don't vegan eat does allow, yeah that's right I, I, I couldn't eat anything Wait, so you ate you ate cow and the stuff that cow eats? Just in well, the I mean, bowl. by the transitive property of, of eating I mean, cow. He's, yeah. he's eating grass and beef. Oh, Wesley, yeah. Nice. Could have skipped the middleman and just ate all the grass. Did you have that delivered as well, or is that the All right. microwave? <clears throat> All right, so we create the, the the texture. We assign it as a as a texture two D. We put in temporary data as a single pixel, just so that uh, WebGL doesn't freak out when we say put this texture on something. Then we create a new image and we load the image. Uh, with this particular URL that was passed in. Uh, when the image has actually finished loading, then we're gonna bind our texture again. We're going to assign the image data to the texture. And then we have to do this funky stuff uh, because WebGL won, which is just, we can either generate the mipmap and be done with it, or we have to generate um, UV uh, texture maps, the UV wrap stuff i have to use uv wraps as well yeah anytime i go out in the sun i i offered as much sunscreen <laughs> as you could possibly use in a year if you would move to tampa okay so let's but no you had to move up to ohio let's see how they use sun. this <clears throat> yeah we, we've gone out to my son's, uh, oh. um, you know, t-ball games or practices this weekend, I got burned both, both times. And Blazer Mr. Magoo's here. Welcome. Hey, Blazer Mr. Magoo, drop. Okay. Um, okay, they're they're just loading the texture whenever they feel like loading it. Um, I've got I've got bad news though. They're um. They're just loading cube texture.png. So there's not like a URL for me to use to get the same texture. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could probably look at the actual source code that's running, but I'm not gonna. So I I'll do it. No, no, I've got there's like a image thing for a random image that we can use. 
Uh, but it has no it, need, it needs to be the firefox oh oh yeah because that's what we're doing the firefox that's what you guys Ooh. are doing we got dummy image oh no i don't want the dummy image generator i want something that's going to give me actual wait images. is it going to rotate did we figure out rotation on all that jazz too we did that I last just scrolled time to the bottom. here let me just jeez you mean <laughs> rotation in 3d space or yeah. no we're, we don't have a cube we're we're gonna assign oh. a single uh plane oh, so we're we're, we're actually like we're, we're like loosening up the training wheels we're like we're like instead of instead of going with straight training wheels we're gonna like kind of go away from the tutorial slightly is that correct slightly in that i'm not looking to do 3d at the moment so Got i it. want to apply the image to just the 2d surface it's still a 3d surface it's rendered in a 3d space we're just we're just not rendering we're, the other all, five we're, sides. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I'm confused. We're smashed down into 2D as well. Is it? Sure. It's a pinwheel. Pin wheel, not a cube. Oh, okay. Whatever makes it. Anyway, so we got a red square. That's what we're working with. Okay. Um, and we're going to try to put this, this A texture onto it. I have a... You know how like you can find something and then and then when you look for it again, not so much. Oh, I, I put an image in chat that you need to use. That that should be. Yes, know, spinning. please. <laughs> yes. You, you Rick rolling me or something? Oh, it's three amigos. Um, we might be able to do that. Is it a power of two? Oh, I can make no, it a power tool. It's a power of three. What's, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, you I have, can you leave me there. if you need me to. I get. It's not. It's gonna look. Back to power it's two. not gonna look good squished onto a square, but I'll I'll do it. Why not? Okay, so I'll, I've got that queued up. I'll, I'll hang on to that. Okay, so uh, yeah, so they're just loading this texture just randomly. So I'm gonna. Try to load it. Um, tech workbench probably until about ten o'clock, or until we get it broken, sufficiently broken. Yeah, Eastern, yeah, yeah. ten o'clock <laughs> Eastern. <Yeah. laughs> ten ten o'clock Eastern time zone. Yeah, uh, whether that be daylight savings or not. <laughs> um, Wait, and there, there's another one that's closer to a an hour and a half. For an hour and a half so, more. How about that? I think I'm going to... No, no, he's going to break it, and then we're going to keep going. <laughs> it, yeah, if we break it, then it'll probably be two more hours, or two, two hours from now. I think I need to, I think I need to change this um, signature. So here we have, a, we have a, a, a rectangle that we're assigning color to, and I think that we need one that we're assigning texture to. So uh, texture... 2D like that and then I'll just have to create a texture 2D uh, object oh what am I doing texture so we throw that in there and then this will be draw textured rectangle I don't know <laughs> this will be draw colored rectangle so if I go back to blazer and just find the this I'll just say colored it, and then it's like he knows you <laughs> what who what oh <laughs> <laughs> don't worry it, it's on the way um error message yeah down to there i think okay so we just copy paste and then this will be our did i what did i do texture or textured textured okay so we'll have a textured rectangle which means that uh these things here will change um but I don't know how yet. So if we go to demo game here, we get rid of this 
And if we do... Uh, this would actually be invoke. Just invoke. And then... Uh, oh. Texture to 2D. Um, load texture. And we're going to pass in a string for the source, which is going to be the three amigos. Um, what's the invoke? Uh, instance of texture 2D obtained by deserializing stuff and things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we should be good. So we need to create this class. And I don't know what's going to be in this class. So we'll have to look at what's in a texture when we get it back. Uh, so then this would be texture 2, 2D. Texture equals that. So we, we don't need to load it every time, though. We should just have to load it once. Maybe up here. You could go with the more square one if you wanted, but... Not a local variable. Turn it into a field. Yep, just like that. Okay, so we load the texture. We do have the module at this point in time, right? It's not... Yeah, it's not coming from anywhere. We should have it. Okay, um, so we got to create this class. Uh, it's going to be in the graphics section because it's a texture. Class. Hey, okay. Uh -huh. Texture 2D. Okay, and other than being public, I have no idea what's going to be in this class. So we just come down. Ship it. Not that there. It's fine. That's uh, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Uh, load texture. It's going to be whatever's returned here. So let's see if we can catch it. So how is everybody doing? How's your game engine coming along, Mr. Magoo? Is yours, is yours, I forgot, I don't, I may have asked, but I don't remember. Is yours open source or is it um, just like a side project that's closed source? Did... Hello. Oh, it broke already. <clears throat> but it's no, not it 10 o'clock. It's... <laughs> uh, well, it's because an object is not to line 25. Uh, module must not exist at that point. Let me find out. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, yeah, module is going to get assigned. We're at, we're at right here in the initialize. So we need a, we need like a load here. So protected virtual void. Uh, load. Um, yeah, load. Doesn't need to take anything. And load will happen not every time, but load will happen after initialize. <coughs> There we go. Game demo. So we'll just grab this. Um, I guess it'd be here. Did. 
Oh, okay. I do remember you saying something about getting bored before, but I didn't know if it was um, you were waiting until you got bored or if you were already there. Okay, let's see. Is it, uh, but is it open source or was it just something you were playing with? Uh, okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't care about the null reference. Sir Skull Legend, I believe we can see the Skull emote there. Oh, yeah, the totally can. What the hey? It doesn't seem red. It's not red. It's definitely not red. Uh, but hey, it, it rendered. Um, it didn't break. I wanted it to break. Like, not shatter, but, you know, like... Oh, you mean, like, yeah, stop. Debug. Yeah. Bug point. Uh, refresh. F12. Network. Disable. Refresh. Huh. Look, it's totally loading it, though. So let me go into sources and put a breakpoint. Camo. Just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Uh, da -da. Oh, okay. So it's not red because we're not populating those values anymore. Mm. We're actually populating them with whatever's in texture. Mm. Um, so that is the color of random memory space <laughs> that has yet, there has not been, what? What's the problem? Find texture is not defined. Um, this kind of function has the same scope as, or no, dang it. Okay. It needs to be. You never put your breakpoint in, but anyways. Well, no, because I, I got to change this anyway. It doesn't matter. It's got to be this in order to retain the scope of the outer thing. I actually paused to think about that, but then I was like, no, no, no. I don't want lexical scope, but I, I do. Why isn't disabling cache staying disabled? Do we have any idea? Uh, cause Edge is stupid. Hmm, fair enough. That's that's really Upset. all I got. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Really? Really? <laughs> Text image 2D on WebGL2 rendering context. The image element contains cross-origin data and may not be loaded. So I, it has to be an image that is local. So content, splash screen, image. I do have an image. You could always download it and store it. It's an RPG game. That's what's in the image. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, can I do this? No, of course not. Oh, well, maybe I can if I'm not running. You never know. Can you just drag? No. Oh. Copy image. Um. <coughs> oh, no paste. Okay. Save image. Downloads, sure. Oh, well, I guess I can just save it straight to the, um... I, I need to free up space. Uh, blazer game. Bla blazer game. Uh, blazer game? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, just right here in the, not in a web. What? What is, what is that? I can't, I can't do it. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to make a, I'm just going to make a picture. It's way less effort. <laughs> What's the matter? It wants to save as a web P file 
instead of uh instead of just a normal ah. just kids gonna... today in their new image formats they don't they don't know the struggles we had back in the day yeah right you can't just save it as a jpeg no it wouldn't let me it does it doesn't really matter though i'm just gonna say um well, I, it worked for me. Jeez, I don't even know how to. Dude, I don't know. Did you do it in Edge? No, I'm in yeah. Firefox. Yeah, I did it in Edge. It said save image as, and then JPEG, and then the other one's in PNG. I mean, I I don't know. It wouldn't. It didn't like it. Uh, I'm gonna do a square image anyway because we have a square. Uh oh. Wouldn't feel like. Yeah, leave me alone. Stop it. Go away. Close. Hope I don't have any illicit material opened up here. Okay, good. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just you put the clothes on instead of taking the clothes off. I understand. New, uh, let's let's just do something like um, 100 by 100. Because because why not? Transparent. Don't color mat. Whatever. Square pixels. Yeah. Okay. And then scroll. And then we'll just do. Um, filter. Generate a pump map. No, can't do it. New layer. Not a group. Render. Flame. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> a selected path. I gotta have a path. Do a, uh, where's the pen tool? There we go. Um, yeah. Dad, there's a thing. Uh, filter, render, flame. Yes. Yes. Uh, one flame? A long path? Two flames? Not, not really what I meant by Firefox, but okay. <laughs> oh, I like that one. Oh, like perfect. That one. We'll go with that okay sweet and it's it's even transparency okay file save as stop it save on my computer this feels familiar portable network graphics uh let's see so many projects um Uh, yeah, right here is good. Oh, what I save it as? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like Untitled 3. Um, yeah, Untitled 1 here. F2. Flames. Uh, and it's right in the root of WW root, so I can just go back here, and instead of all this madness, I could just say Flames. Hmm. All right, let's try it again without uh, cores. Stupid cores. Any origin, any header. Inval invalid format. What, uh, what kind of image are they using? They're using a PNG. Let me check the code. This isn't even where I expected to like get hung up today. <laughs> Is it ever? Okay, so they they have text. 
text image 2D. This.gl.texture 2D. Invalid enum. Oh, um. Is 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 this whole piece here maybe wrong? Uh let me let me check here. Oh, you guys couldn't see what I was highlighting. Nope. Um Web GL text image 2D. I feel like I can't really trust MDN since that's where I'm from anyway. That's 3D. And and yet, WebGL, okay, here we go. WebGL specification, WebGL 2.0 specification. Um, tax image. To D. There's only 28 of them on here. On load, dot, dot, dot. It's very helpful. GL enum target, GL lint level, GL enum internal format, yada, 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 yada. yada. That's copy text image. Here it is. <clears throat> I think place for Mr. Goop. Mr. Goop brings up a pretty good, pretty good point. What's it got? Uh, you you haven't written your image editor yet. Oh, you that's using, true. Um... That's that's one of the first things I'm gonna put in my uh, operating system once I get that written. Um, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I just I just want to know. I think I must have spelled something wrong. Like it's got to be it's not even the right file. It's mad right here. No. Does it does it know? Oh wait, did it have information? Okay. Yeah, that's not helpful. Uh, what's the value of this? GL enum. Or glenum, whatever that means. Um, and that's just a definitions file, so it's not. It works fine here. But then when it gets down here, it gets mad. Um, that did say. Well, no, it said invalid enum. Um, what other enum values am I using? There was the format, internal format. Ah, yep, 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 yep. I think. Well, no, that is a thing. I wish I knew which. Okay, text image 2D, invalid enum. Wait, go back. Yep. What do you, what do you see? Is it really text image without a without a T 
T T E X image. Yeah. Well, that's annoying. A little bit. I mean, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Target level internal format with height, border format, type, array buffer, or image data in our case, or HTML image. Actually, I think it's this one. Um, well, it's nullable. RGB. Yeah, could it be? A. RGBA, RGBA. What's nullable? Oh, all the all the last thing, yeah. Yeah. Um. Is the source format one place, Mister Miku? Uh, maybe not. Um. Source format. RGBA should should be what we what we just assigned. Let me go to here and uh, view the complete code. So they've got they've got this guy here. So download. Come on. Cube texture PNG. Projects. Blazer. Okay, I'll just throw that in there as well. All right, let's just change the texture. Oh, what was the name of cube texture? Yep. Uh, let's do that and see what we end up with. So. And we can check and make sure it's actually loading the correct image. Because it'll be in the in the network. Oh, it's it's all broken. One second. Yeah, I know. Blazer, Mister Bagu said, "Our BGA." Okay, so it's it's getting the right um, image. So let's go check. Um, well, yeah, it's still still. RBGA is that correct? Uh, let's let's go just yeah. Aha! Uh Hi, -huh. say how? Hmm, yeah. Eagle eyes. You didn't see anything put that in there to make sure that everybody was paying attention he's gonna edit this video later because <laughs> you know I won't <laughs> stupid cash God. okay all right well so at least okay so type unsigned byte but array buffer view not uint 8 array or uint 8 clamped array Oh, that's supposed to be an eight. That's, that's at least an easy fix. I like it better when it tells me exactly what the problem is. I got a new book on chaos engineering. So I'm, I'm looking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some trouble. Okay, sweet. So that's not complaining anymore. And that's not complaining anymore. So we might actually be able to hit this breakpoint now that it's not blowing up. Is that going to work from there? No, of course not. Why would it work from there? It'll work from here. Dev to... Uh, refresh. I hate you. <laughs> Golly.
This is this is why, like in JavaScript for the last couple of years, I haven't even bothered trying to debug. I just console log stuff. <laughs> There's just, there's just like no point in actual debugging. Okay, texture, WebGL texture. That's, uh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> nothing at all. But that should be easy to make. There you go, Ward. There's a, a link to the Chaos Engineering book. It's on my nightstand along with like 20 other books, so I should get to it any day now. What's what's the concept behind it? Like, what's the elevator pitch? There, it there's buzzwords, and there's a book. Real quick, um, think Chaos Monkey at Netflix and resiliency. So, how how does your overall system handle failures and retries and stuff? Got it. Yeah, there's nothing I have access to in this texture. The thing is, like, I don't need... I don't need, like, access access to it, but I need a handle to it. But since it's it's deserializing the way... That, or, well, so it's, it's, it's... Since it just won't deserialize, I don't know... There's no way to get a handle on it. I, I don't think I said Netflix and, and RZA. Why did I go blurry? I went blurry. You've done it a couple times. Oh, the, I didn't turn off the stupid thing. It's the alcohol. <laughs> I blame it on the... Uh, I think I said Netflix and Chaos Monkey, maybe? I, I don't remember what I said. There, I turned off the stupid autofocus thing. Okay, so... <clears throat> I, I'm not going to perform... No. All right, so what we're, what we're going to have to do instead of... Now, if, if, uh, if Bald Bearded Builder wants to jump on, we'll, we'll open up the chat and we'll open up the the zoom call and he can come on and dazzle us all right so i got uh url and name is what i'm gonna have to have and then we can go to here and we'll just say um cube is the name for the texture and then matter of fact way, mr jolly i believe you have the link <laughs> you can just join us anytime you want <laughs> <laughs> that way when I'm here in texture 2D I'll have to, I'll we're, have to build out texture 2D. <laughs> the link doesn't we're, yeah, no, we're we're way too lazy to change the link from from guest to guest. What? What now? Bald bearded builder is going to jump on the stream and dazzle us with with some Wu Tang Clan. Uh, okay. Uh, as long as it doesn't copyright. Um, how do okay so okay so the things that I care about <laughs> for a texture. Just just keep it family friendly. <laughs> is the name. I care about the width and the height. Uh, and width. <laughs> and height. Um, Have you announced where you're where you're going yet? Did I did I see that you're you're making transitions? Johnny Fever is going to come on and, and dazzle us. It's going to be great. <laughs> we're gonna, well, I guess I'll we're just gonna have get, 
bombarded by all of our previous guests. There's, <laughs> oh, it's the same link every time? <laughs> I'm in. Um, okay, so name, width, and height are the things that are going to be stored in the texture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, before returning it, I'm going to say this dot textures push and then um, or no, I want to set. I'm going to, textures is going to be a set. Um, stop it. Don't run. Come back. Stop running. Okay. Um, so uh, textures equals new set. There we go. Um, scroll down to here and then texture dot. How do you add? How do you how do you add to a set? Dot. Michael Jolly's dropping his his first rap album. <laughs> and why not? Uh, JavaScript set. <laughs> Get set 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 clear add value. <laughs> Key I'm sorry, his, his follow up rap album. Uh oh, this isn't what I want. There's like a. All is I know is I've got like thirty thousand points burning a hole in my pocket, waiting for Johnny to come back. What are you trying to do, Clayton? Do you, do I you want need a, our help? I want a keyed um, thing that is um, restricted so that you can't have the same key in it twice. Uh, JavaScript hash. That, that would be a thing. Just... Yeah, uh, So much code. Um, hash. I don't use the fancy JavaScript uh, collections all that often. <laughs> or multiple files, for that matter. Uh, well, <laughs> Just once, I understand, once I understand what we're doing, the textures, well, that might be part of the reason why I didn't have taunt. So much code, so little tests. Add value T that no, dang it. Somebody wants to save me from my pain. How hash function? No, this is, this is entertaining. This is great. I mean, if it comes down to it, I can just do an object, but I didn't want to do an object. Because um, I don't think it's technically the right. It's gonna. Oh. <laughs> Clayton face was just as funny as the comment. <laughs> Great. Now I will always love you is stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah, this is what I want. I want uh, a map. Something about a map. <laughs> that was my favorite Family Guy skit ever. going to be the name and the value is going to be texture he's in the zone right now you can't you can't get to him and then we're going to return i hear you what's up he's not even listening <laughs> said the new stream goal is to create a song title that makes you smile
Get out of here, breakpoint. Get out so of my code. Get into my browser. I don't know. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm doing stuff. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna return name, width, height, which is in effect the texture that I've created. Name with height. Uh, Shygon, um, mainly it's Clayton working on it, and we're here for moral support and ridiculing. Sure, sure. moral support. <laughs> we can call it that. Yeah, Clayton is the one uh, in the, I don't know, is that a brown shirt? It's uh, it's like a greenish shirt. It's from HMB. Uh, may she rest in peace. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eat sleep code. So it's, it's the eat sleep code shirt. Um, John John Ash is in the middle wearing he says a purple shirt, but no, it doesn't it's look purple. Clearly burgundy. And I am John Calloway. Uh, this is the Six Figure Developer Channel. We uh, live broadcast the podcast on Mondays at six p.m. Mm -hmm. and live code live stream Wednesdays at eight p.m. Working on personal projects. This personal project happens to be Blazer Game Engine, a port of mono game in blazer yeah not anymore that clayton is what broke scrapped and rewritten a couple of times already oh, oh it, it, it was here and i yeah and then we gotta and then we have other projects um i mean we certainly <laughs> sometimes a help today has been probably less helpful than others but uh, uh i, I have a uh, react uh project uh, uh fitness tracker uh lift fit log it's the name of it um and i'm trying to just learn learn some react and and kind of build that uh on the side and then uh john you have uh, speaker meet and tri triple derby triple derby um I don't, I don't know what's going on now. and then uh, i think we got uh, we're going to be doing some azure devops with uh, speaker meet here soon yep we were, we were thinking we were going to do that today possibly but um i took too long to get on the stream real life irl happens sometimes yep it happens yeah so uh speaker meet will probably work on some multi-stage build pipelines next week speaker meet is a website for speakers uh, technology speakers conferences and user groups and uh there it's uh <laughs> some community supported freaking ward is is a. Uh, submitted some pull requests, some changes that we probably should review at some point. Um, it is a .NET 5 API backend, a React front end, hosted in Azure using Azure Cognitive Search, um, using some blob storage, using a static website for, or a static hosting for the uh, React site. Uh, the code is in GitHub using um, GitHub Actions for build and deploy currently. We have created an Azure pipeline for it as well uh, for demo purposes. Uh, right now it is building and testing and verifying in Sonar Cube. Uh, then next week we'll probably add in multi-stage pipelines to get it to deploy from Azure DevOps as well. We've we've done the we've done the knockout. We've done the Angular. We've done the React. We amazingly we haven't done the view. That's true. Now uh, bald bearded builder is gonna like. So what, what, what? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So it's the, this is the color. So now right we're now we're doing the the, the blazer. Which bald bearded builder loves the blazer? Texture name. And then texture name, we're going to get. Uh, we actually don't care about the rest. But. We do care about the size of texture names. So this is going to be. Um, texture name 
dot length times sixteen. Because the web is UTF-16, so each character is 16 bits, right? Let me... Uh, this would be... Let me... Well, let me check to make sure this is an actual thing. Uh, laser dot... <laughs> Blazer. Because <laughs> you, cause you hear the laugh like that? Really? There are no results for Blazer on Marshalled Invoke? Did you realize you were uh, binging it? Yeah, he he bings. I don't I don't know I, why. I use whatever comes up. I don't care. I mean, uh, I mean so Shagon, I'm thing. not sure I understand the question. Uh, well, who? Uh, question: Do you guys consider a slightly higher pay individual contributor role a step up from a tech manager role, career advancement wise? Yeah, I, I think there are different directions in yeah. a career, like the individual creator, uh, contributor versus um, the tech manager. And I'm assuming that's like a more of a people manager kind of direction. Um, and I, I think that both can be from a career advancement direction, both can be a good direction, depends on where you want to go. And thanks for the cheer, Coil Twitch bot. Yeah, I've been doing this a while. I'm not like at this point, I'm just where wherever you feel like you are effective and wherever wherever you want to go and whatever you want to do, I'm all right with it. I, if you want to choose a path and, and go down a path, fine. If if the path chooses you and you're okay with it, fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think it's also pretty decent to give things a shot, right? Um, if you want to go down a diff down one particular direction, you want to try something different, oh, um, feel free to go down that path. And uh, the one thing I would say is that if you... If you oh, base if you um, if you've been doing that for a year, two years, you know, or whatever time, however long, um, and you start to feel like you're missing out on things that you wanted to get, go 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 a different direction, you know, um, it it is important to um, you. There's definitely lots of um, you know, with a little hard work, lots of opportunity to move around and take go in different directions. But you definitely can certainly um, make it more difficult for yourself if you head down one particular path that sort of pigeonholes you in a direction. Um, like, like five years ago, Clayton decided to leave .NET and go purely JavaScript and realized <laughs> he didn't like that. And so now he's going back to .NET. Yeah, or, or three years ago, I, I started a heavy delve into DevOps. And all I ever got to do is, you know, YAML and maybe some PowerShell. And so I, I started recognizing that, hey, I'm missing out on some stuff and this is not the direction I want to go. So then I've, I've now looked for an opportunity to say, I, I do enjoy a lot of the DevOps stuff, but like, how can I bring that back into the developer realm? Um, and that opportunity was there. So, um, yeah. Okay, and, we're gonna- And bald bearded builders mentioning Jenkins on the stream. And I think he's gonna need a timeout. <laughs> okay, we're, uh, we're gonna. Have At least to it wasn't Jira. If, if it was Jira, I'd just straight up ban him. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with that. Okay, I think I think the 
back to serious talk. I think the serialization of the texture that I was trying to do is causing issues, so I'm just going to back out of that and skip it. Um, we've got... Uh, I'm going to do that. Texture name, so we're just going to read... Uh, read string filled... Base address... 16... In the sample code, it looked like when they read a string, they just skipped forward eight, by eight bits or eight bytes, whichever this is. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then uh, read the rotation variable, which should not have changed. Excuse me. Um, so now I need to change the texture reading code. So we don't actually need to return <laughs> anything now. So we'll just comment that out for a moment. We're setting the texture so that we know where it is, and then we'll deal with it later. What's that? Uh... The fun part is, is if you rerun it, does it work? <laughs> <laughs> if you what? <laughs> yeah. Shygon's definitely not looking at a failed Jenkins build as we speak. Oh. Yeah, if you re rerun it, it's going to work. Every time. <clears throat> okay, yeah, well. something something that we were doing with the um, serialization of the texture two D was was blowing up, not happy. So, yeah, see when it when it doesn't work, it's we. When it's work when it works, it's him. I'm including the community because uh, <laughs> Bald Builder Builder has been so helpful. Uh, <laughs> Hey, it takes a lot of effort to come up with these horrible, horrible <laughs> song names. <laughs> okay, so... All right, all right, all right. The The irony here is that this all started with Wu-Tang, and I'm not sure that I could name a Wu-Tang song. So like, he could use a title, and I wouldn't know it. Yeah, I got nothing. Um... That, what that language part, that um, part is at least not blowing up so yeah johnny boy uh currently this is live stream live coding wednesday where we work on personal projects this is clayton's blazer game engine a port of mono game in blazer yeah so, so there's c a mix yeah there's JavaScript. a mix of yeah. c sharp and javascript on screen as he flips back and forth through this tutorial and we'll drop a link to the tutorial in chat as well. Yeah, oh, I lost it. Uh, we are mostly dealing with JavaScript at the moment because um, the C Sharp is, is just initiating WebGL calls through the JavaScript interop that Blazor provides. Um, oh, okay. I, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's I a link to the tutorial he's going through. And here is a link to the GitHub repo. Okay, so to continue on with this. So where where are we? Could you give us a little summary, Clayton? Yeah, yeah. So so I have so before we had the draw colored rectangle function and mm -hmm. it was drawing just a red rectangle. We swapped that out for a draw textured rectangle, but it was literally copy paste. They're they're the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. um, so now uh, this is the code here that was doing the colors. But we're not receiving colors anymore. We should we should be receiving the um, the the texture name. Uh, I tried to do a texture object, eh, so we're doing a texture name. Um, That's and, a technical term there. Yeah, yeah. So now we just need to basically wipe this part out and replace it with the code from the tutorial. Now the code in the tutorial is doing a cube, and we're mm. not doing a cube, so we have mm. far fewer texture coordinates to deal with than than they had. Now, once we venture over into the 3D realm, then then you know we'll revisit this. But for right now, we only have to deal with uh, coloring the front. I think. I hope. Heartburn. One second. Get a pop of tums. Awesome, Johnny Boy. Yeah. So Johnny Boy is just learning c sharp hopefully start making games in unity we've, we've done some unity yeah unity is a pretty good platform um it's got a good interface 
I just like doing things the hard way, which is why I'm making a game engine in Blazor. Yeah, I went through the uh, the Unity. Um, is it top down space shooter demo thing and showed my son and now he's well not now but for a while that was all he was talking about is the game that that i'm writing like writing is kind of a strong word but okay <laughs> and shygon wrote a webgl game engine for fun a few years ago nice good stuff so you might actually be able to help Where were you when I was dealing with RBGA? <laughs> <laughs> Laughing at the screen. <laughs> Probably. Okay, so... So here all we've done is we've created a uh, buffer similar to the color buffer to hold the coordinates for the texture to be placed onto. Uh, we've bound that buffer, so that's the one that we're currently working with. And now we need to fill out the texture coordinates for the image to be blasted onto. So const... What? Yeah, Clayton chose the game engine because it would be hard. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I have also uh, played around with creating a operating system straight from assembly code and um, other stuff. I just like to explore complicated topics. But there you go, using, you know, Photoshop. Just saying. It is a complicated uh, application to learn. Ash, your face is starting to disappear. Oh, no. <laughs> is that better? No, no, now it's not disappearing. <laughs> <laughs> Back, keep backing up. Back up further. <laughs> okay, so... If I'm reading the sample, let me bring the sample code over real quick. If I'm reading the sample code correctly, <laughs> uh, then I've just done this front portion, and hopefully that's the only texture coordinates I need to color the single uh, square that I have I have drawn, or I am drawing to the screen. So now we just have to uh, basically tell it to, to apply this texture uh, buffer, and then and then magic should happen. Oh, but you know what? They're doing that junk again. So we might have to create... Yeah, we'll have to go back into init buffers and create the texture coordinate buffer. Is what we'll have to do. That's fine. I'm going to do it all in line real quick just to see if it works, and then we'll come back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then that's that's really all they're doing is they create the they create the uh, the buffer, they bind it so it's the active buffer, they assign the generic stretch all the way out to the extents uh, texture coordinates, then they apply the buffer as a float thirty two array to this static draw thing. And I think this tells it to get evaluated by the the fragment shader but I'm not 100%, so we'll find out. Um, okay, so now we have to update the shaders, and I'm hoping that we that these, these updates don't wipe out the coloring that we had available to us, but it looks like they might. It's a bit sad. All right, that's whatever, okay. Okay, so the shader updates that they have, they have a vertex position. So instead of having a vertex color, 
they've added a texture coordinate. I'm going to leave in the vertex color. Oh, uh, we're switching from Vec 4 to Vec 2. Okay, and then the model view and the projection matrix are the same. They've added a varying texture cord. And it's a high P instead of a low P. Two. Uh, which, you know, I don't like the high P's as much because sometimes they miss the toilet and then... <laughs> Really? We're, we're going with to toilet humor now? Why not? Where's the flush when you need it? Um, <laughs> okay, so then... There's no reason that we need to exclude anything here. It looks like... It looks like we can assign both, so... Maybe, maybe that should be a, a, a project. I can get <clears throat> some... Uh, you know, IoT device, so when I push a stream track, I, you know, instead of getting, like, a, you know, a, a recorded message, I can just actually flush the toilet upstairs. And then... Blazer Mr. Magoo is dropping a toilet <laughs> on my head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, and again, they've added a varying IP vec 2 the texture cord to the fragment shader and I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to check the values so if if color then color otherwise if texture then texture I think is what I'm gonna have to do because I don't want to I don't want to lose the functionality Okay, so could you use two different fragment shaders, like a fragment color shader and a fragment text shader? Um, maybe, but I don't know how. Okay. I'll probably I'll probably do this the other way around if. Texture coordinates, then do the textures, otherwise, do the color. Uh, now, this this could blow up, this could not work at all. I don't know. I don't know how, how, um, how these values work. So I don't know how to actually check and see if it if it has a value. So we'll we'll see. Uh, so they say instead of assigning a color value to the fragments color, the fragments color is computed by fetching the textile, that is the pixel within the texture based on the value of the vtex coordinate, which like the colors is interpolated between vertices. Okay. Um, Right, and then they expand the program info, wherever that is, right here. Yep, okay, so we still have a color, but now we would have texture cord. My output color, vec4 v color, times color, times texture. Ooh, that would be nice. Is that, uh, so, uh, Shigon, is that, is that to tint? So, so that you could tint the texture with a color? Uh, because if, if so, then I, I definitely would prefer to do that. Man. 
I hate the internet. It's slow. Um, uh, yeah, texture, and then... It's the... Is it the NFL delay? The 10-second delay? Uh, who knows? Uh, use sampler. Uniform location, shader program. You guys keep an eye out for any response that he might give. Or she... Yeah. Uh, whoever Shygon is. Um, the the version 300 is for WebGL 2, which I do want to switch to. I'm just waiting for a point in the uh, tutorials where they actually switch over to WebGL 2. Uh, the interface is almost the same, but the shader language is different, and you have to uh, prefix the shaders with that version 300 thing. Um, use sampler. Oh, no. Okay. That makes everything mostly happy. Okay, so now it says drawing the textured cube. Uh, the changes to the draw scene function are simple. The code to, for the color buffers has gone replaced with whatever this is. That's fine. So if we go back... Yeah, so after we bind our data, uh, this is for the positions and this is for the colors. So we would wipe this out. Num equals two. I think, I think, did we lose Shygon? That'd be a shame because <laughs> That was good information. Um, stupid comments. Like, is that comment really necessary? I mean, come on, people. Don't normalize. And yet you typed it. Yeah, because I'll come back to it later and be like, what's normalization? Oh, well, I still don't know, but at least I know that we're not doing it. So then uh, this dot gl dot. Okay, so we're gonna bind the texture coordinate buffer, which is which they're referencing from buffers. Um, we'll have to reference it from the, the local place because we haven't put it into buffers yet. Array buffer, and then what's it called up here? That one. So we'll just have to remember to change that later. Yep. Dot. Oh, that one might do it. Nope. No fair. You're ahead of me. Well, I just saw the trajectory. It does it. I didn't actually see it land before I said nope. I just saw where it was going. No. I mean, it landed on the target, but not, you know. Ash, your uh, bearing is going out again. Is it squeaking too much? Bearing? Your your washing machine or 
whatever. <laughs> okay. It's gone now. Oh, is it? Okay. Okay, and then just before the draw, they're saying to add <laughs> GL active texture, GL texture zero, GL dot bind texture, texture, uh, and then there's our texture. That's the one we care about. And then, oh, that's right here. Um, and then uniform one eye. Jeez, I don't even know what that, okay. Uh, yeah. So, I think that would just go, it says right before we draw. So I guess right up here. Let's find out. Uh, Ash, you flickered between universes for a second there. At least he didn't turn into sand. Texture zero. Find the... And I'm muted. I don't know what's going on. And probably the... Yeah, our furnace is having to work a little extra hard. You know, but... Texture 2D. And then we need to get the texture. So this would be this dot textures and then um did you ever get electricity back yes get and then name is it no it's uh what's it called texture name the kids must have slowed down on the, the bicycle so yeah that Kinds of free extra characters. It's just a weird method name. Uniform one eye. So I guess if you were binding, if you were binding all, well, no, they are binding all the faces and they're binding them all to the same texture, which is just texture zero. I assume if you had more than one thing on the screen with more than one texture, you'd have to texture zero, texture one or something. I don't know. Cross domain textures. So there's, there's probably a way to get it working there. Okay, and that's the end of the code. So let's see what happens. I mean, 10 to 1. Not going to work, but let's see what errors we get so we can fix them. An error occurred compiling the shaders. Boolean expression expected. Right, okay. And that's because. Oh, Shagon's back. Maybe you can answer my question. It won't scroll. Uh, Shagon, um, the code that you had up earlier, would that tint and texture the square? Is that what that code would do for the shader? Because if it is, then that's exactly what I would be after. Um, and I can't... No, that was way back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Frag color would equal... Well, in this case, it would just be V, v color 1. 
B color. Um, and then you've got times times color times texture. But I or would it? Well, I think I did this wrong anyway. Where's where's their stuff? Yeah, I totally did. Uh, texture two D. Yeah, yeah, so you can tint the texture. So the, the formula, um, the formula you had, so if I got rid of these if statements, I would set the color equal to, um, would it be V color times the texture or how? How would that work? Yeah, color times texture. Yeah. Yeah, color color is already a VEC4. Uh, texture cord is a VEC2, which I believe is what you've got there. Yeah. Um, and sampler and texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's let's try that. That would be the ultimate goal, and then it would be, uh, but I guess then I would, uh, yeah, of course it blowed up. Let me do this first before I jump to conclusions. Okay. Okay, program info. Okay, well, that's expected. Um, somewhere in here. There we go. Oh, but you know what? If I do it that way, then I would technically need to, I would need to, I'll need to include the other stuff as well. But that's, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, yeah. Save, Let's try this again, refresh. This active texture is not a function. Well, that's, that doesn't seem like that would be what I would have typed anyway. gl.activeTexture. Okay, technically, I think that worked. Because we're applying the color. If I, if I go back, let me just go back to the... Um, I go back to the the thing here and I'll just remove the application of the tint. So we, we basically applied black as the tint. So it's just gonna black everything out. Uh, really, we would wanna have applied white if we were going to just stick with the, the plain Jane texture. So if I, if I just wipe this out momentarily and then refresh, then we should get our texture. I mean, I feel like it's backwards. There, there are some things wrong with that. I, I, this is this. We can fix this. This is this is fixable. Let me. I'm going to drag it off screen so I can type, and then I know exactly where to fix it. I just don't know how. I don't know that the fox would agree. I think I feel like it's not. Very I mean, fixable. at this point, I don't think the fox cares. <laughs> what would the but fox say? What? Yeah. What? What would the fox say? <laughs> okay. Um, cause we had a, we had a pattern for this right here. We just need to, so it's right. I can look at this all day. It's not going to make any sense. Let's just, let's just change some stuff. So let's put the, 
uh, right bottom. So I think this is one one. And then left bottom. So this would be zero one. And then right top. So one zero. And then left top would would be zero zero. Mm hey, hey so obviously it's upside down <laughs> but it did it did draw and now it is at least you know a picture so, are you muted again um yep okay so so we just need to um flip flip that that thing around um which i think if we change these i think that we could so if we if we come here now this will this will mess this up again so let me undo this real quick okay and then if we said uh left top first And then uh, right top, and then left bottom, and then right bottom. Uh, I think close. It's close. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let me just, just just undo that. So it, it does. Ooh, hello. Oh, oh go stop. Back. Go back. Go back. Um, it doesn't. I know what the problem is. Well, I know what the problem is. I just gotta figure out how to fix it. No, no, because you have one one. So you have zero zero one one zero zero. zero like the left hand column is. <clears throat> so you, the pattern needs to match the same, right? So um, yeah, well that's that's what I that's what I did. With go the, back up to like no, you didn't. Yeah, no, I made the pattern match, but now I want to flip it upside down. No, 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 because we needed to go left top, right top, uh, right bottom, left bottom, and we did left, right, left. Yeah, I'm just saying it doesn't matter what position these are in. This just has to has to match appropriately. So okay. so if we if we if we if we go back to to what I thought I had earlier, so right bottom, so one one, and uh, left bottom, so zero, one, and then right top, so one zero, and then zero zero. And then we refresh. We get the we get the upside down image, and that's that's okay. So like whatever. Now if we rotate that image a quarter of the way around, then we would be taking the um, right bottom, and we'd be moving it to the left bottom. So the right bottom would move to the left bottom. Oh, you know what? What's that do? Okay, and then these need to flip. That poor, poor Firefox. Um, is it upside down the same way or upside down the other way? It's upside down the same way.
think no, it would wait. follow Ken. I think it's Chuck. different. I think it's upside down the other way. I think I mirrored it. Uh, maybe. Put it back. Okay, so uh, the registered trademark is right there. Yep. I know it's over there. Oh, yep. You did mirror it. So I, I mirrored I it. Um, so I just need to do the other mirror. So if I switch this one to down there. And that one up there. Well, let's see what that one change did. It'll be a split fox again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then I switch these two in the middle. Oh. Split fox. And then... Split fox. Okay. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what that what that tells me is I, I want to actually undo that one, and I want to switch the other two. And then it'll be the right way. <laughs> you sounded confident, though. I will give you that. What part did I just... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we're holding. I mean, you've got less than five minutes to break it. It's already broken. All right. Ta-da. So <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, that's right. I think zero, zero needs to go to the top. No, no, no. Well, just hold your horses. I want to see what change I accomplished. Oh, okay. This is this is in the correct spot right now. Um, so what are you saying? <laughs> are you saying that's progress? If you back up, I think zero zero needs to go to the top of the list. No, the top. I thought. Mm. You want that at the top? Uh huh. I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm just randomly placing these things. Boom. Ta da! Like I said, I think Zero Zero needs to go to the top. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so this is the correct texture orientation for the vertex orientation that we have yes so yes um it's it's mirrored though is it it, it yeah no yeah is it mm -hmm. i think the copyright is supposed to be on the bottom left no look bottom right oh, well, hold on look <laughs> look see what it's right there yep well then there's his mirrored as well because the firefox logo the head is on the left well let's just open up the picture and just see what the picture really looks like <laughs> golly <laughs> oh stop yeah 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 oh yep, yep. there 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 there's, there's his mirrored, mirrored. Hmm. okay uh uh so we need to mirror it, which means we need to. Yeah, reverse. I think the zero needs to be on the left, and then the, the other zero needs to be on the right. Yep, like that, I think. This is how I mirrored it earlier. I, I think, yeah, I, I think that's correct. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom. Ta-da. I learned something. How to mess up my own code been doing that for years <laughs> <laughs> okay um so that's that i want to get this i want to get the um 
I want to get the color uh, tinting Wait. working real quick. So we showed a picture on a page in a web browser? In two hours. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Okay. So, uh, so I don't need that. Uh, what I do want to do though, is I want to combine these. So, uh, all I really need to do is grab, uh, right here and come up to this one. All right, so they grab the colors, but do the color stuff, and then we can do the texture stuff right there. No big deal. Did Was there some comments associated with all that mess? Yeah. No. No, there wasn't. Yeah. Okay, and then um, we have this piece here, which is the texture bits, which we can do right after the color bits. So they do position, then they do color, and then we'll do texture. And then there is the last piece, uh, which is these lines here, which we will grab and place here. This is when we break it. Yeah, right. <laughs> we did just pass into pumpkin hour time. Um, yeah, uh, break it to where we can't recover it, and then we'll end the stream. <laughs> it's not going to be like that. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's going to be just draw a rectangle again. Um, okay, so we get the color, and then we get the... Uh, texture so this would actually be the 80 and then this would be 88 miles per hour mm -hmm. and then um, that gives us all the things I'm gonna leave this here for right now but that that ultimately that would need to be or that would want to be elsewhere um, and where is the load texture Load texture. Uh, da, 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 da. So, see, it creates this. This. Um, I don't know why they did opaque blue, but it creates this default texture. So what we'll do is, <laughs> mm, excuse me, is um. We can load. It doesn't need to. It needs to be a white, like that. Um, okay. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So. Oh, default texture is just gonna be that part really and then we're gonna jam it into this except for the name will be default and then in our well we'll need to call this up here in initialize, um, yep, sure, why not? Okay, and then in draw rectangle, uh, we just do that, and for right now, I'll fake the whole thing. So we go to game demo, and it's going to be draw a rectangle and we could say default and but we need our color so uh, new 
color rectangle. So can we have a... Er, there, that's all it is. I don't need to... Uh, so it'd be... What's it saying? We're just waiting for you to break it completely. Oh, that's wrecked color. Oh, okay. That's so it's new color rectangle. Wrecked color, wrecked color. Correct color. There, whatever. Which problem? No problem. Oh, I can just do I can just do a single color. There. Okay, so we should have a. Uh, uh, this will just give us a color, a single color. Um thing it'll be red single color red square if everything go correctly give me a minute uh-huh well technically nothing went wrong um why is it doing that Seems like a white square. It does. It really does. But then again, that seems like a red shirt. So. No. I mean, well, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring, let's bring the texture back. Fingers crossed that that works. It should work. I don't know why it wouldn't work at this point. Yeah. It did? Yeah. You know it's not working. Oh, the the shaders. That's why it's not working. You go to your shader code. What are you talking about? When you didn't have the texture. No, I have got the texture. So, what you didn't when you didn't include the texture. Oh, look, I didn't include the color. That's that's what I was saying. Right, why wasn't it rotating? Okay, well, it's not... Oh, yeah. Oh, the color's rotating. Nice. Yeah. In a gotcha. second, In a second, I'll figure out why it's not spinning around. Because it should also be spinning. Because um, we have this here. Oh, we have... Okay, I can't put this. Hmm. And square rotation there. Uh, square rotation must be receiving uh, an incorrect value. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, oh, right, you're reaching... right here. Oh. We're trying to read float. I moved forward the eight points similarly to before. Rotation is being used somewhere, right? Yeah, it's being used there. I think I'm going to log out rotation, make sure we're getting something. Good idea. <clears throat> Tech workbench. I don't know that we had a specific goal, but uh, I think... No, text putting texture. The, put a texture. That put a texture. Goal. Right, right, right. Was the goal. So getting the Firefox loader mm -hmm. up logo applied to it. But he asked, uh, was the Disco Firefox logo the goal? But I think at the moment, basically... If we can get this rotating, then we'll have done all the things that we've been able to do in WebGL to this square. Yeah, look, the... the apply a color, apply a rotation, apply a texture. Yeah, the rotation's not moving. Uh -huh. uh, so we're grabbing the, the wrong value. The wrong value. 
So and is it 16? Good night, good night Wes. See you later. Thanks for joining. Well, so I, I really don't know. Um, gotcha. See, if I, if I say uh, grab 80. Um, just... It might be kind of hacky, but could you? Do we know what the rotation? We know the rotation's four bits, right? So, could yeah, you swap the rotation and the? Oh, there we go. There. Ta -da. Ta -da. So we have a, a color rotating, actually rotating, Firefox logo. So we have a textured plane that is being tinted and rotated. Um, which you remember how how difficult the tinting, tinting. was before? Well, it was massively difficult. Yes, absolutely. And now it just happens. So yes, big improvement there. Yeah. And with that, we will likely call it a night. Do we have any final wrap ups? Final words of wisdom? Do you want to try to break it before we leave? Uh, get rid of your logging and see what our FPS is. Should be still around sixty, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, totally. There's, it should definitely be around 60. Um, well, and I want to load flames. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I want to try is, to load flames. This is where it breaks. <laughs> this this <laughs> might be where it breaks. Because remember, it was it was complaining earlier. It was like, flames? I don't know what you're uh, talking we about. We also had an RBGA. We had some other issues, yeah. What? Oh, perfect. Well, no, but look. What? What? I didn't touch that. <laughs> Did you, um... Were you cached? Were you cached? No, or no, no, it's like because that? it's power of two. Is what happened. You're a power of two. Well, this, this image is not a power of two. So we, we entered into the... No can has power of two code. Oh. And it got mad. Well, you didn't type it right. Clearly. Ooh. Much better. I don't know what I'm looking at, but. Uh, well, it's not transparent. Uh, for that, we would actually need to go to our initialization code where we're. Um, doing this no not that stuff um yeah after we get that then we can say uh web gl fundamentals it's uh, like a blend mode oh it's a uh, web gl blend Or, uh, transparency. There we go. Transparency and alpha blending. And, well, that's in a thing. There we go. This, this bit here. So, if I come up here and I say that... Yeah, I think the there's a lot of intention there in tech uh, tech workbench uh, to break this down. Uh, oh. I think the the point right now is to just try to get things some things working, and then so we can understand what's going on. Yeah, as soon as as soon as we get to uh, so we're now drawing rectangles. Effectively, we can we can basically set a position a size a shape for a rectangle we can uh tint it we can apply a texture so the next thing to do would be to turn that into a much more optimized draw rectangle function uh create some kind of function that will build a camera so that we can um you know pan and, and zoom and and stuff um and we also want to uh switch over to a pixel coordinate system uh, as opposed to a cart Cartesian coordinate system um, the the 
the big hurdle was really was just to get a textured square drawn. And now we can actually start doing more game engine-y stuff because honestly, especially if this if this uh, transparency function or transparency thing works, the hardest part is just getting that square on the screen. Boom. So now that that's working, we can go back to what we were doing before, which was which was working on a sample game. Excuse me, with the intent of building up a the game engine. And the sample game was um, Breakout, so just the the ball bounce game. And now we can we can actually work on that. We've got all of the pieces that we had before basically back now that we can draw a textured rectangle on the screen. I just have to switch over to the pixel coordinate system before we can really move forward with that. Good night, Ward. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. And with that, we will likely call it a night as well, folks. Uh, we will be back on next Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern for live streaming of the podcast. And then mm -hmm. next Wednesday at 8 p.m., we will be back for live coding live stream Wednesday where we work on personal projects. We might continue Blazer Game or Ash and I need to do a little bit of work on multi-stage pipelines for speaker meet. So either way, tune in, like, subscribe, cheer, do all the, the Twitch things. We will uh, call tonight and rate our friend Tim Bodet and uh, say goodnight, everyone. See ya. Yeah. Got to work on that. Blend mode. Anyway, <laughs> good night.